A foul odor plagued the residents and business operators of Upper Marianne Street Cash Trees, prompting a call to the police, which led to the discovery of a partially decomposed male resident in his home. A business owner who runs her establishment below in the building where the male body was found said she mistakenly believed the rotten smell came from a dead animal rather than the deceased. She says she had noticed the unpleasant smell on Wednesday, and despite numerous attempts to clean it up, the stink only got worse by Thursday. It was when her colleague went to use the washroom, she saw a swarm of flies upstairs at the building. From Wednesday, we noticed we was getting a smell, but we didn't know what, so we cleaned, we search around and look to see if we could have found out like it was a dead rat or an animal, but we did not get anything. So I say, okay, Lord, I don't know what to do. Well, we'll take it from there. Then I shall say, let's, let's, if she gets somebody, she'll ask the person to clean there for her house. Search under the house to see if there's nothing, because we cannot stay in that smell. Mm -hmm. Then she went to the bathroom, and then she noticed a lot of flies. She... She came back and told me, but look, there's a lot of flies there. Most probably the man died. I said, I don't know. I said, Lord, don't tell me that that happened. And we decided to find out when last we saw him. We called the landlord and we asked somebody he usually buy breakfast from. We find out when was the last she saw him. The woman says after that, several other attempts to contact the deceased and create a timeline of when he was last seen. And she told us, well, she saw him on Friday. She's not too sure if it's Friday or Saturday. I say, well, okay. So when we called the landlord, they told us they spoke to him on Saturday. Try and call his phone. We could not get him. It was just going to voicemail. And then, well, we say we're going to call the police. She says she could not say for certain if the man had been sick, given the interactions were a bit limited. I don't know if he was sick, to be honest, because early in the morning he gone. When I come, he's not there. When I leave, he's off and on, I would see him. Despite this, she notes the deceased was not a bad individual, though he kept to himself most times, she only has good things to say about him. For the past five years, I never have no problem, nothing to say about him, just that he was on his own. If we had anything, like he would tell me, like we shared the bills and everything, we're going to talk, but to say he was, he was a bad person, I cannot complain, because sometimes I would come and I would find a yard scrub, he would clean and he tell me, I clean up for you, you know? My niece and him, they sell, if I have anything, I will leave it for him, he tell me, the woman is at the back, I know it's mine. The man, said to be in his early 50s, was discovered by police on Thursday, February 8th, at his home on Marianne Street, Cash Trees. Around 4 p.m., a report about an unpleasant stench coming from a nearby house alerted the authorities to the problem. Even if preliminary examinations show no evidence of foul play, law enforcement officials have announced that a post-mortem will be carried out to ascertain the precise cause of death. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austinay.